everyone, it's Jo Carter here. I'm just going to film a quick start to this segment this morning. Months, I'm going to be restyling this bookshelf. I'm liking the top two shelves because they've actually got something on it, but the bottom ones, which I'll flip to soon, I'm not really happy with. I just did an unhaul that I actually got rid of 18, I think, of books I've already read, which has severely shortened my collection a bit and push things up but I don't want to buy more books that I haven't read because as if you've watched some of my videos before my goal is to get my TBR to zero before I buy anything else aside from buying earlier books in the series if I've got later books on my TBR because I need the earlier books to read the later ones. I'm guessing that's going to take about a year. I'm reckoning by June 2021 I'll be done 100% that should be definitely enough time but I am I don't want to be unhappy about the bareness of this shelf, the bottom of this shelf for the next year. I want to feel happy. I feel pretty strong in the fact that I'm not going to purchase any more books just to fill it up. But I still want to be happy with my shelves for 12 months. I don't want to be feeling unhappy with them. So I'll flick across to them. So this is the shelf. I'm happy with that bit because it's actually got books on it. Then we've got blank, my TBR and then mostly blank and a few TBR books. Really that's the hole that I'm wanting to plug. And my idea is to begin with, I actually want to add another shelf into this existing frame because there's so many big holes that even when they're full of books, it makes me unhappy. But I'm thinking about facing some covers to the front and I have all the illustrated Harry Potters that are out yet. So I'm thinking about getting some plate stands and standing them up a little bit to create a bit of a feature and getting a bit of a trailing plant and then I will go from there. I've got quite a few ornaments that I've already done a bit of an ornament unhaul declutter. I actually there was twice as many on my shelves that I actually got rid of half of them but it still looks a bit cluttered to me so maybe I can kind of group them together somewhere and make it look cohesive. If not some of this stuff may be going as well. got some more organizing to do obviously but I bought a plant yesterday it's so cute it looks a little bit sad um it's supposed to have holes in the leaves it's like a Swiss cheese plant and it's the climbing smaller variety good morning everyone it's Saturday the last weekend in April this is what I've done so far which I like but I'm unhappy with the gaps particularly around that shelf and that one and they're the ones that we see in videos the most so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Harry Potter illustrated and the plant up into the top shelf and I'm going to bring the top shelf down a notch and then bring that one down and that one down and bring all the shelves down just a bit so that then these two bottom ones aren't as gappy so I don't think I'm going to add another shelf because I would like to give as much space to that top one with the plant and the Harry Potter books as I can. And that way I think it'll look nice, it won't look gappy, and then I can move everything down. And like at this rate, everything is filled up really nicely. I love putting some of the books on their sides and putting the books out. So I think that's pretty fantastic. And then the plant just looks absolutely gorgeous. But now I need to clean up all of this junk which we were supposed to be having a garage sale and that's not going to happen yet so I want to pile it neatly somewhere because I'll actually need to some of the shelves some of them have holes that I can move but a lot of them don't so we're actually gonna have to drill some holes in in them so that I'm able to move them about freely but I think I'll be happy with the end result Hey everyone, it's a couple hours later and I have been listening to a lot of true crime and organising my shelves and just cleaning up. So that's the shelves behind me now. They're so empty. I've taken them off. I've moved the books up there obviously and I like that. I'm really happy 
with that layout it still kind of drives me a bit nuts because normally I would have it flowing like this is my red shelf and then I'd have that would continue but the plant needs height and the books need height which I've read those but I have everything in alphabetical author uh, alphabetical by author's last name which Harry Potter doesn't go there and that's something that forever changes depending on what I've read but also so I could have put them at the bottom where I had them but this plant is hanging and trailing so it needs it needs height and I'm happy with them being up there and being displayed and as I collect the rest of them then they can go up there as well here's all my books on my desk out there but I'm just gonna be doing some measurements soon I interrupted my fiance when he was watching telly and I was like come in I'll be ready for you to help me drill more holes into my shelves and I wasn't ready so I'm going to do some measuring with the tape I don't want them to line up with these ideally yes but that shelf needs more height so I need to decide how many shelves I want to have whether I want to have four or just three and what will work out four would be convenient but I don't want to make them too short because then my big books can't go in there and then I tidied up this pile as well, so it's a lot neater and put some of the books over there that I'm getting rid of too, so that that's all to go eventually. I'm going to do some measurements and I'll let you guys know what I decide. These are my measurements. So the books in this shelf, which I also made years ago, is the total height of like one shelf and then this is 285. And then the book space it gives is 265. So I'm gonna give a book of a book space of 250. Because the tallest book I've got is like 242, so it's still plenty of room. And then I'm gonna add, you have to add 20 mils for one of these, and I'm adding one, the top of one for each. The total is 270, including the shelves. Now I have a space that I worked out from the top of this down, 1360, and if you divide that by five, because I want five shelves in there including the bottom one that um, is 272 mil so perfect and I double checked and triple checked and I'll get my fiance to check as well just in case but I pulled it out away from the wall taking the stuff off the top we'll need to build one more of these shelves but I'm excited hey everyone it's Sunday morning the next day I'm coming to you with my empty shelves again and my books over here and I'm just going to film putting everything back together. My wonderful fiance put some more holes in my shelves so that we can move the little shelf nubby hook things. What are they called? Shelf supports. We've got some more of these because this one I ended up adding another shelf to. So I've got to put, we needed four more for the one that's going to go in that gap there. But he's been working pretty much every day straight for the past couple of weeks and I annoyed him on his weekend off so that he could do this for me. So a big thank you to Daniel. I was actually going to get him in part of the vlog but I didn't really ask him about it when he was drilling and he doesn't actually want to talk. He'd rather me just be like talking and him in the background. So he's not going to be able to be in it but I'm very grateful and thankful because he made me another shelf as well because I didn't, there wasn't enough um, pre-made ones because I'm adding one to it. But I'm going to now be filling it all up and getting it looking absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited because I think part of the reason, again, that I wasn't happy is because there were so much gaps. The shelves were so big, the spaces, that there were so much gaps between the top of the books and then just bare nothingness. So this is going to allow me to fit more stuff in. I'm still going to be spreading stuff out because I haven't actually bought anything. But, and I don't want to, so I'm going to be filling it all now very nicely and having it look super gorgeous. So let's do that. <laughs> you can probably hear the washing machine in the background as well, but I need to wash clothes at Sunday and I'm working tomorrow and I haven't done anything, even though I had yesterday off. <laughs> And then obviously 
with the Harry Potter ones, like the more we read and collect, the more I'll have to squish them together. But um, they look pretty fantastic at the moment. Oh, we need, like, I found this at the op shop. It's like a little, they must have done it when like the first Harry Potter first came out. to make the bottom shelf slightly smaller because there was a shelf in the middle that's the support and it's actually drilled in instead of having the little supports that the shelf sits on and so we can't I only wanted to move it like 10 millimeters but that would have wrecked the wood because the holes were in too close together and it would have just like they would have just mushed like disintegrated and mushed together so the bottom shelf is quite small it's a lot smaller but Unless the book is really big, it'll fit most things, so it's gonna have to cross fingers. <laughs> I legit cannot believe these are what my shelves look like. This is a gorgeous top. I haven't put any ornaments on yet. God, I'm in love. Yep, I'm so happy. I'm gonna stop filming now because I'm a bit breathless. But there'll be a couple more ornaments on for my final pictures, which I'll show, but far out. See, this is like the sides of all the ornaments. And then I need to add some to these, but that plant, man, that plant just sets it off in the Harry Potter covers. That's it. This video is over. I've put my little ornaments in, so I'll have put some pictures, some before and afters. If I can bloody find a before picture, I think it'll just have to be the start of this video unless I've imported it onto my computer. Now I'm gonna go. I'm so exhausted from doing that. It's amazing how, even though I didn't talk much, it was still exhausting to be doing it. I don't know. I'm gonna have a coffee though, because I don't want to go to sleep because I want to I wanted to film more videos. I wanted to edit a video because I don't have one up yet and it's Sunday and I need to put one up and I need to hang out washing and I wanted to do some stuff outside before it gets dark even though I think it's like the afternoon like two maybe two or three in the afternoon but there's so many things that I wanted to do that don't involve napping so I'm gonna go and do that hopefully with the help of a coffee but I can't believe that like these I'm gonna have my camera sort of over here a bit more so it's gonna be more in the corner here so that you can actually see this shelf but I, I've just quickly thrown this here to do the end of the segment but I can't believe that this is what my shelves look like it's amazing oh there's my washing <laughs> you didn't hear that I probably look like an idiot but I just Everything looks so pretty and I'm so happy with it. I, yeah, yeah, definitely leaving, adding more shelves so you have less gaps makes things look fantastic. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you really enjoyed this. It's hopefully going to be something that's really fun for me to edit and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.